glossy nude ass slip ass bitch was never my journey but who, who are we i guess this is 30. <laughs> Greetings friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany if you've never been here before and today's video is going to be me talking to you about my top 10 favorite nude lips. I find that finding like the perfect nude lip is such an individual experience. Everybody is looking for something different. Everyone has a different skin tone. So all nude lipsticks look different per the person, per the person. They look different depending on what your skin tone is and also just like what your preferred nude look formula vibe is but these are my top 10 so i figured i would let you know in case you have similar taste to me and a similar complexion as me and similar likes as me so i thought i'd put out this video just letting you know what my favorite ones are uh in case you were curious before we get started please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell join the brat pack i put out new videos every week and i would love to have you here and uh it takes two seconds, and I know before I had a YouTube channel, I never did these things, but just know, for somebody who has one, it's important, so please do it. It would be great. Rude. All right, and I think it's time that we stop talking about it and start being about it and get into this video. Do you want to do that? Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Right now. If you would like to see my favorite nude lip products, just keep on watching. Okay, so now that we are here, I'm ready to get into these nude lip products. So what I have here is nine traditional lipsticks and one gloss that I like to pair with nude lipsticks that is a nudish gloss. Um, with the term nude, that is very subjective. Um, so what these are to me are lipsticks that I use all in the same way as nude lipsticks. That doesn't make sense. I feel like I need to explain myself a little bit better. So some of these are nude in that they are very close to my lip color, sort of like this. Um, and some of them are deeper, a deeper nude, something that would be a nude on other deeper skin tones. So basically what these are to me is a collection of lipsticks that I use all in the same way and that I pair them with eyes where I don't want the lips to distract from what I have going on on the eyes. And it's just a way to enhance and juice up and pretty up the lips in a very natural way that does not distract at all from what we have going on up top. So all of these could be paired in the same way as, do you get what I'm saying? I think you get what I'm saying. They're gonna be varying shades, varying depths of a lip that I would use interchangeably in that fashion. So let's, let's just get into it. I feel like I've uh, explained what a nude lip is far more than I need to because you're all intelligent people and you understand. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into swatching these and talking about them and showing you the comparisons and all that jazz. So the very first lipstick I'd like to discuss, I think it's the newest one I have, or at least it's my newest one that is the most used since getting it. And this is Frisky from Melt Cosmetics. This is what it looks like right here in the bullet. And this is Frisky on the lips. All of the lip applications I'm going to do, I'm gonna be lining my lips with Jordana Easy Liner and Rock and Rose, because it's basically just the color of my lips just to give it a little more shape. But this is what the color Frisky looks like on the lips. Let me give you an arm swatch as well, so we can compare all of them at the end. There is a swatch of Frisky from Melt Cosmetics. I like this shade because I feel like it's just like a nice, warm peachy nude. That's kind of my vibe. I like a warm peachy nude. All of these are going to be similar in their undertone, I think, because I like that rusty peach kind of thing, but I do also like a pink. So that is Frisky from Melt Cosmetics. Just to show you... Um, what my next product is. This is actually gonna be the gloss that I use with nude lips. This is from Iconic London, and this is in the shade Love Struck. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on top of this so you can see what that looks like. This is product number two. I love this gloss. I use this gloss more than any other gloss. Mm. It just looks so pretty with nude lips. It's pigmented, but not super pigmented. It's just like this light nudie pink, and it just gives a super pretty glossy appearance. I guess I could give a swatch. I don't think it's gonna do anything, but. Oh yeah, if I put it on the hand, you can sort of see the pigment to it. So that is the gloss right there, just like a nice pinky sort of shine. And it's a little bit plumping, it feels like minty. Love it so much. Okay, the next nude lip that I love that's in my top 10 is Single from Fenty Beauty. This is the lipstick right here. That was a weird way to open it, but this is the way it looks right here. And this is Single on the lips. This one has a little more orange to it. Let me give you a swatch. So as you can see, they are very similar, but I feel like single has a little more orange where next to um, 
frisky. It makes frisky look a lot more uh, pink and brown. Don't get me wrong, they're similar, but they're all new lips, so they're gonna be a little similar, but they do different things for me, and I love them all in their own way. Okay, next we're gonna go in with a drugstore favorite, and this is Bear It All from Wet n Wild. This is what it looks like in the tube here. Obviously, I'm not gonna be using these indefinitely once these are gone. I'm not gonna use them anymore since Wet n Wild decided they didn't wanna be cruelty free anymore, which is rude because they have some of my favorite nude lips, like this one, for example. And here is Bear It All on the lips. And here is Bear It All swatched on the arm. It's just a little more rosy than the other two and a little bit lighter. Okay, and next for my favorite summertime nude, this is Sun Kissed by Tarte. Look at how beautiful that looks with these nails. Oh my god. This lipstick is the one that I wear non-stop in the summer because it's just Perfect, and now that it's starting to get warmer, I'm so glad that I found it and pulled it out because I'm gonna wear the shit out of it. So this is sun-kissed on the lips. It's just this nice little mm, pout of beauty. I think I bought two of these. I think this is my second one. Oh, they're going all crazy. But there it is swatched on the arm. See, it's just a little more pinky orange and lighter than its previous sisters. And I love it so much. And man, it looks pretty with my nails. Ooh, I need to take a picture. Okay, the next one I have is a newer one to me. It's a brand that I had never used before. It's Ilia, and this is in the shade Wild Rose. To me, this is like the perfect work-appropriate nude lipstick. So this is the shade Wild Rose here. Obviously, work-appropriate is gonna be very subjective, but I just, when I put this on, I feel sophisticated. The packaging, wait. Oh, just kidding, just kidding. But something about this lipstick just feels incredibly work appropriate and super pretty and sophisticated. And when I put it on, I feel like I should be back at work and not unemployed, you know? <laughs> Due to the coronavirus. <laughs> okay, and there's Wild Rose right there. It's the mature older sister who has her shit together. And I love her. She's super cute. And I'm glad that I have this. I got it in FabFitFun as like an add-on or something. And I'm, mm, the formula's super comfy too. Okay, the next one I have, I feel like is Sun Kissed, Sun Kissed by Tarte's like younger, less expensive sister. And this is the shade Uno Moss by ColourPop. So this is Uno Moss right here. It's just like this really pretty, soft, warm, peachy pink nude. I feel like it's very similar to Sun Kissed. I actually feel like it could be a dupe. I think I've said this on camera before and I'm not sure. I believe that the ColourPop, what are these? I cannot remember the name of these, but these ones right here, the original ones, not the matte ones, just the regular cream formula are dupes for these Tarte ones. I just feel like packaging wise, obviously they're different, but they're pretty similar. And I feel like formula wise, these are very similar as well. I don't know if anyone's ever compared them or if I have on camera, but if you like these, you will like these is what I'm saying. And there is Uno Moss right there. So it is slightly different, but do you see how similar those are? This is just a little lighter and a little pinker, I think, but they're pretty similar formula wise. They're really good. So if you like Tarte Sunkissed, ColourPop Uno Moss could be a good dupe for you. Okay, the next two that I have are both like considered like the deeper nudes that I have in this lineup that somebody might not even consider nude lipsticks on me, but I wear them interchangeably in a nude fashion. Uh, the first one is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and this is the shade Allegedly. This is my favorite lipstick shade that he's ever released, as you can see, I'm sure. I've used the shit out of this thing. It's so pretty. And I love the way his lipsticks smell. Okay, so here is the shade allegedly on the lips. I can see why someone might say this isn't a nude, but I think this is barely a nude, and it's close enough that I'm including it, because I feel like somebody with deeper skin would look gorgeous in this. It's just such a pretty, like, terracotta sort of shade, and it's my favorite thing he's ever released. So there it is right there. And you know what? I think it fits into this lineup just fine, quite frankly. Hopefully if we have room for our last two. I might have to go in this area. Okay, the next deeper nude that I have in the lineup is this one that's also from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And this one is in the shade Thick as Thieves. Okay, and this is the shade Thick as, Thie Thick as Thieves on the lips. It's got a little more brown and a little bit deeper than allegedly, and I just think it is so stunning. These lipsticks are both so pretty. I wish he made more of the bullet lipsticks because mm, I can't wait for him to release a nude collection. <sighs> Anyone else disappointed by the uh, cremated collection? 
That is Thick as Thieves right there. Very similar to the one above it, but with more brown. All of these are pretty similar if we're real. They just have slightly different undertones, which gives them a slightly different feel on lips. And they all make me feel very pretty, so. Okay, one more. My lips will thank me for being done. I hate doing lip swatch videos, they hurt me. Okay, and the last one I have is another one from Wet n Wild, and it is in the shade Bare Your Soul. And it's beautiful. There is Bare Your Soul on the lips, and I think that it is stunning. It's the lipstick that I was wearing when I started this video, and it's one of my all-time favorite of this whole bunch. And there it is swatched right there. I find that it's very similar and pretty much a dupe for Fenty Single. I did a whole video on these lipsticks from Wet n Wild and how they are the Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick dupes, so if you haven't seen that, check it out. But um, they're similar. They're slightly different, obviously, but they're very, very similar, and the formula is very similar on the lips. So this is the lineup of all my favorite nudes, which as you see, I have a type. You won't see any cool tones because I just don't like cool tone nudes on me. I don't think they're flattering. I feel like I have too much yellow and warmth in my skin to pull them off. Like I have, occasionally I can do Jeffree Star celebrity skin. Let me show you that one real quick. It's an honorable mention. Like if I'm gonna go cool, I'll go there, but it's rare. So there's celebrity skin just for an honor honorable mention. It's more gray and purpley toned, so it's not like my go-to. But if I'm gonna go that route, it would be that one. Or maybe Bun Bun from Urban Decay. Let me show you that one too, just because now I feel like if I mention it, I need to show you. But I don't even know if it's available anymore. There is Bun Bun. Again, it's such a rarity that I wear those types of tones. That's why I didn't include them. But in case you want two cool tone ones, Bun Bun and Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin are both pretty options with good formulas. Okay, guys, so that completes my video on all of my favorite nude lips. I can't believe I finally did it. I've been saying I would do it for a while, but I've been very apprehensive because lip swatch videos cause me physical pain. My lips are so sensitive. My skin is so sensitive. My lips are going to need to be in nothing but like thick lip balm. As I was saying, my lips are going to have to be in nothing but like thick lip balm for probably three days after this, but I really wanted to get the video done. Uh, I went ahead and popped on the iconic London gloss on top of what we had going on at the end, the bear it all, bear to comment, bear, wait, bear your soul. All of Wet n Wilds had the word bear in it, so <laughs> there was another one, um, bear to comment, that they used to have that I love, but I couldn't find, and that was my favorite for years. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I can't believe I made this video. I know with certainty I have said in my life on this channel that I would never be a nude lip ass bitch. Glossy nude ass lip ass bitch was never my journey, but who, who are we? I guess this is 30. <laughs> But anyways, guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to do this again in the future with all of my favorite reds, since red lipstick is my absolute favorite. This exact look, take away the blue and add red lips, and it is my go-to because I think it's the prettiest look ever. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to let me know and comment down below. Of course, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell because I would love to have you here with me. And thank you for hanging out in the first place when you could be anywhere else in the internet, on the internet. Mm. Anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the best. And goodbye.